You're inside my Fix It Up Life, and today it's all about play. That's right. We're going to turn this patch of grass into a wonderful play set for our kids, and we're going to show you how we do it. The key to this playset, getting out of the ground with straight lines and a level surface to build off of, is to create a level foundation. Unlike most playsets, this playset is very, very heavy. So what we've done is we've taken a number of different materials here to create a level surface. We're using pea gravel so water can drain through it, and we've set some level lines already using stone dust. We're going to take our 4x4 grid, put it over this area, and the playset will stay exactly where we put it for years to come. So you're watching that level. I am. Okay. Better. One more. Well, when we make contact... Got it. Got it. Got it. We're framing this wood playset just like you would frame a house, and it actually has two towers, and the box that you see is one of the towers that we're building. The outside joists here are called band joists. The interior joists are just regular joists. And we're going to drive a few screws in here and lock them solidly to the foundation so we can then bring our posts in next. Let's rock it! Yeah. There are a couple of different ways that you can build a corner post if you're building a place out of your own. But, like so many other oddball jobs, Turns out the jaw horse is an ideal tool for this. I've got two set up, one at each end, and I've got a couple of bar clamps here to squeeze the pieces together so I can get a nice, tight, square corner. Now that I've got it all set up, the last step is to set screws along the edge. Now that all of our corner posts have through bolts and finger tight, we're ready to put in these cleats, which is ready for the second floor. Right, these fasten on the insides of our L-shaped corner posts. Then the framing for the second floor, or the play platform, tucks inside. Very neat, very easy to assemble, and we're gonna lock it all together when we cinch that hardware tight. Here's a my fix it up life quick tip for fastening deck hardware. We're using deck building techniques in our playset construction, but I fasten deck guardrails like this fairly regularly. I'll use my impact driver with a three quarter inch socket on it and a ratchet and socket for the other side. This side on one head of the through bolt, this on the other, and we go to town. Gravy train. Let's 
sweet. Here's a My Fix It Up Life quick tip for making repetitive cuts that are all the same. We have to cut a number of deck boards here for our playset at all the same measurement. So instead of measuring each one individually, I'm gonna measure and cut one, see that it fits. Once I know that it fits, I will clamp a board to my work table as a positive stop. Now I don't have to measure and I can be sure each board is the same. Because the My Fix It Up Life playset is an original design, there hasn't been one before, we did a couple of tricks to make sure that we got our layout and our measurements just right. And one of those tricks is we installed the corner posts much too tall. Once we got them installed, once we got all our measurements taken, we then cut them to size. First tower's up. It's super sturdy. It's looking great. You're looking great too, baby doll. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Well, you'll get more of me and her on part two of our series of how to build a backyard playset. <laughs>